Hi love, welcome back. In today's class, we are making this beautiful open shell cover up. If you are new to the channel, my name is Miss Ai and you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you my love, thank you darling for always coming back. Let's get right into class. I'm going to be working with this cream, yeah, yeah, acrylic yarn. It's a lightweight yarn, so I'll be doubling it. Also, a 4.0 mm hook. You'll be needing your tape measure, your scissors, your dining needle, and your stitch markers for this project. To begin with, you are going to make a slip knot and make a chain long enough for the length of your cover up. So I'm going to make about 230 chains. You can make it as long and work into the chains that you would need and the, re the remaining of the chain you can leave it and we shall cut it off when we are done with our project. So. Go ahead and make the chains. I'm going to make about 230 chains and I'll meet you when I'm done with my chains. After you are done with your long chain, row 1, you are going to yarn over, skip 6 chains and in the 7th stitch, you are going to make a double crochet. Chain 1, make a double crochet in that same stitch. Chain 5. So this is a V stitch, chain five, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, skip six chains and inside the seventh chain, you are going to make another V stitch. And a V stitch is a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet. Chain 5 again, skip 6 and make a V stitch in the 7th stitch. So V stitch is double crochet, chain 1 and a double crochet. So you are going to repeat this until the end of the row or until you have your desired length for your cover up. So now I have my desired length and this is the remaining chains. We are not going to be working inside that chain. You are going to chain 5 again, skip 6 and make a double crochet in the 7th chain. Sorry, I made a mistake here by chaining 2 and skipping 2. But chain 5 and skip 6 and make a double crochet in the 7th stitch. Now after you've done that, chain 3, turn your work and make your first double crochet inside that same stitch and make make five double crochets inside the v stitch so one two three four and five make a single crochet inside the chain five space Make five double crochets inside the V stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Make a single crochet inside the chain five space. You are going to repeat this until the end of the row. So this is row two, 
and this pattern is a repetition of row one and two until you have your desired length but i'll walk you through row one and two again so work until the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to make your five double crochets in the last v stitch Put your last single crochet in the chain 5 space and make a double crochet in your last stitch. So you're going to make two double crochets. Row 3, you are going to chain 3, turn your work, and we are going to be working our V stitch row again, just as we did for row 1. So yarn over and make a double crochet in that first stitch. So this makes it two double crochets because your chain 3 counts as a double crochet. Now you are going to chain 5 and make a double crochet in the middle stitch of your five double crochets chain one and make a double crochet in that same stitch chain five again so this is your first v stitch chain five again and inside the middle of your five double crochets you are going to place another v stitch V stitch is a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet. Chain five again. You are going to place your next V stitch in the middle of your chain, your five double crochets. So V stitch is double crochet, chain one and double crochet. You are going to repeat this until the end of the row. At the end of the row you are going to put place your last two double crochets in the last two stitches with the two double crochet you can choose to make a double crochet chain one and a double crochet or just make two double crochets inside the last stitch now for row four you're going to chain three turn your work you're going to make your first double crochet the chain three count as a double crochet so make your other double crochet in the next stitch you are going to make your single crochet in the chain five space make five double crochets inside the v stitch one two three four and five you are going to make a single crochet inside the chain five space and you are going to be repeating this until the end of the row. We are going to be working this um, row for 14. We are going to be making this for 14 rows, counting only the shell stitch. That is the row 2 only. But if we are counting the V stitches, that is the row 1, then we are going to make all together 28 rows. And this is the back panel. We are going to repeat this row for three panels that is the back panel is a full panel and two front panel so the two front panel is going to be equal of equal length and the back panel is just going to be a one big panel so with the back panel we are going to make 28 rows counting from the v stitch and if you are counting only the shell stitch then we are making 14 rows after that you are going to chain the same amount of chain how you started the back panel and make six rows counting only the shell stitch for the front panel but if you are counting the v stitch then you are going to make 12 rows for the front panel so you are going to make two front panels so this is the first front panel and is six but when we are counting all is 12 
so we are going to make the other side of the front panel and we shall meet and connect all the panels we are done with our panels and to connect we are going to start connecting from the shoulder so we are going to insert our hook make a slip stitch sorry make a slip knot and connect your yarn after connecting your yarn through both panels you are going to chain one and now we are going to chain four and make a single crochet inside the back panel and we are going to be working inside the shell stitch row that is the row two so make a single crochet both in the back panel and the front panel chain four again so you can see and make your two single crochets inside the shell stitch row so you would the row would be obvious because it's the big spaces in between so just make a single crochet both in the front panel and in the back panel chain four make a single crochet both in the back panel and in the front panel chain four and keep repeating this until the end of the row so it's chaining four and making single crochets both in the back panel and in the front panel and we are working in the lane two there's row two spaces So keep connecting this until the end of the row if you haven't subscribed to the channel my love up until this point please do and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back so at the last stage you are going to chain four and this time we are not going to make single crochet but we are going to make slip stitches so make your first slip stitch at the back panel and slip stitch again inside the front panel and there you have it now you chain one and this is what your work should be looking like now to connect to the both side i don't want to cut the work so i'm going to make single crochets to connect over to the other side of the panel but if you want at this point you can cut your work and connect again to the other side but i'm not going to do that so just work your single crochets across onto the other side of your panel and to begin with you are going to connect both sides with a single crochet so insert your hook through both front and back so we are working on the right the left panel now so make your single crochet and now chain four and go in and out with a single crochet so make a single crochet in your back panel and front panel chain four make a single crochet in the back panel and front panel and you are going to repeat this until the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn Now we are going to be connecting, after you've cut and fastened your yarn, we are going to be connecting the size of the wick. And this is where we would cut the excess yarn from our chain. When we first started, we left some chains. So when you cut and pull, it will turn into a knot. So now we are going to be connecting from the bottom of our wick, meaning the down part to the, the, the upper part. And to the upper part, we are going to leave our armhole about 9 inches for our armhole. 
connect your yarn at the lower part of your work with a single crochet so after connecting both panel with the side of the work we are going to be making connecting it in a different way so you are going to chain two for the beginning and you are going to work four double crochets in the back panel or one side of the panel you can choose to work your four double crochets in the front panel or four double crochets in the back panel and just that opposite row so we are working in rows so after your four double crochets you are going to work a single crochet in the opposite row chain four again work four double crochet in the v stitch the v stitch of the back panel and make a single crochet inside the v stitch of the front panel chain four again make four double crochets in the chain five space of the back panel and just that opposite chain five space you're going to make a single crochet so you're going to keep working this until you have with the armhole you can choose to make eight inches or nine inches if you want your armhole to be big and loose you can consider making um leaving nine inches and if you want your armhole to be sizable um make eight inches and if you want it to be tight then consider making leaving about six to seven inches so I'm going to work until I get to the armhole space. This is my armhole space. Alternatively, you can count the rows. So that is five shell rows. And I'm going to close off the single crochet row and start working inside the shell spaces for the armhole. So to do that, you are going to chain four again and you are going to make a slip stitch inside the last stitch of your chain five and again of the back panel and you are going to make again slip stitch of your last stitch of the chain five inside the front panel so slip stitch in the back and front and now we can start working a uh, um, and to start you are going to chain one and you are going to work single crochet inside each stitch so bear in mind we were chaining we we're making chain five so you are going to make five single crochets inside the chain five space and inside the shell space you are only going to make one single crochet sorry one single crochet so make five single crochets inside the chain five space one single crochet inside the shell space and keep alternating this until the end of the row or until the beginning of the row and we shall slip stitch and and start with our row one so at the top part you are going to make single crochets so two single crochets so make your single crochets inside that connecting row sorry one single crochet in each stitch of the connecting row and continue with your five single crochets inside the chain five space and one single crochet inside the shell space At the end of the row you are going to connect it inside the first single crochet space make a slip stitch and this is the first border now to start the main work you are going to chain seven this is row one and we are going to start by making the v stitch row is the same as we were making so chain seven you are going to skip 
five and inside the seed stitch this time we are not going to skip six and inside the seventh stitch but we are going to chain skip five and inside the seed stitch we are going to make a v stitch chain five skip five and inside the seed stitch you are going to make a v stitch chain five skip five and inside the seat stitch you make a v stitch and at the end of the row we shall connect it so at the end of the row after your five chains make a double crochet inside the same stitch as you started chain two and make make a slip stitch inside the third or the second stitch sorry of your chain seven space where you begin so this is what you should be having so automatically that will turn into a v stitch and sorry for this v stitch we are not going to be chaining one but we are going to be chaining two for row two chain seven again make a single crochet inside your first chain five space make five double crochets inside the v stitch Make a single crochet inside the chain 5 space. Make 5 double crochets inside the V stitch. And you are going to keep repeating this until the end of the row. And I'll show you what to do. At the end of the row, you are going to make your last five double crochets but this time you are going to make four double crochets and slip stitch inside the third stitch from the bottom of your chain seven so that would automatically become your feet stitch so chain seven again so this is what your work should be looking like chain seven and make your v stitch again so in the middle of your chain five space you are going to make your v stitch and with the with the arms v stitch you are going to make a double crochet chain two and a double crochet chain five again and keep repeating this until the end of the row so this is the pattern for the arm and we are going to work this for both sides of our arm after that just connect the other part of the arm and work your hands and this is pretty much the whole pattern for the work it's just a repetition of two um rows that's the row one the v stitch row and the shell row and we are going to keep working this until you have your desired length with the arm i made about 27 25 rows but you are you can feel free to make it either shorter or longer and after you are going to cut all loose ends and you are done with your work if you made it up until this part of the video my love just leave me a heart sign under the comment section and let me know your thoughts about the video i'm going to place this um on a, a big surface so i can take all the video of how it's looking like so you would have the idea of it so this is my work and after that, just go ahead and cut all loose ends and this is what the work should be looking like. So this is a much bigger surface so I can record and show you how the work is looking like. And feel free to cut all loose ends and make sure it doesn't unravel. Until next week, my love, my darlings, my babies, my sweetheart. Bye-bye. Stay hydrated.